surprise me at all. It was them that he just killed about. Not too dressed like that. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I don't actually like long walks. Afternoon. What's your pleasure then? I hope there you go. Hope your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers. She'll fancy. What's your pleasure then? Jerry, bye. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy. You know, the whole world's gonna freak out. Oh. I guess if you can wait all day in that stink, I can stand it while I clean you up. so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? Mummy could really use some lovely dreams. They really could.
Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho <laughs> ho Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, uh, the lads have, um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle makes the world go round. F-R-E-E-D, S-A-B-E-D, from the bonds of S-I-N. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hip hooray, amen, sing hallelujah, yes, sing hallelujah. For the sixpence on a drum, save another drunken bump, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. For the sixpence on the drum, and you'll be saved. That was wonderful. Thank you. There, yeah, lads. That should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesise a blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no. It's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. No, it's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be. That's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to hurt to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. Oh, you've got a cough. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Oh my God. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Cod liver oil. Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. Oh. 
lovely day. Oh, it's been too long. Have you got my chemical back? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. Let's spend my money, shall we? Oh, you're there you go. Careful with your, uh, chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the back. Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. That's the one what done it. The killer's right there! Get him! You won't You're get You're gonna with get this. what's coming. Look at there her! She is! Get her, lads! I would so and much rather be... Hmm. I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Smart you are. You have to make them feel smart if you want them to like you. But they're also dull. They can't see past the river. Every man, even the most boring, has something fascinating in him. You just have to winkle it out of him. And... I'd rather live in a hut in the woods on roots and berries. Oh, I don't know what becomes of a girl like you. I swear to God I don't. It's advanced maths and chemistry. One of the German scientists is teaching it. We're not paying extra school fees for something you'll never use. That's too bad. All the brightest boys are taking it. The ones from their best families. And I'll need help with my homework. And we'll get to know each other. <sighs> for once, you're talking sense. Maybe this once, we can scrape together some money. If you can talk your way in. He already said yes. Imagine my surprise. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle. Nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you've brightened our day. Like, uh, 
late. Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. Those are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Holy fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir so Robert's a client. Oh, good. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... A little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After... What your mum did? What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I really, 
Really? It just, oh, just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. There's... Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Well, clean it again. I found a loose bullet down in the mud the other day. Do you think it could still I'm be just good? saying... Maybe we should recruit. God, you again. We passed this way but once. Huh? I'm not sure that actually was really. You lot don't appreciate you know the general, because all you know oh, is the war. But back when I saw with him in India, let me, let me tell you what. Here he goes again with the elephant. Yeah, you fresh bloody songs. listen to me. That is answer to everything. One fine day. Bloody see boys come songs. running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. No. Elephants. It's very gentle creatures most of the time. And they get along just I wouldn't fine with the man who runs them. He's called a mahoo. But when they're in a of the chain of and this one ain't got loose. And his bow went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating peaches. And the coolie tries to stop him. And the elephant, oh, the wife steps on him. I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle? We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Miss Boyle! I won't really be happy to see you. He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? 
once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. You're cruel to toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but no. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait, I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. Don't have to think so much. See if I don't. Is that yours? The General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat... But does it work? <laughs> I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl.
Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is uh, that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for late patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey? Brilliant. Now I... Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find, he's always at the pub. I think I'll skip the scene again this time. Oh, my nose needs a bath. Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? 
No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. smelly darkness into... well, not that much better. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look. They're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the old no, one. Please, no, please! names don't kill are secret me. and may not be said. Whispered. in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my cloak of shadow, ye shall assemble Save in me! some Save secret me! place Please! and adore me. <coughs> and I will teach you things that are unknown. I am who I am. <coughs> oh, Peter's gonna cook up my heart and eat it! Behold, my branches give you sustenance like the mother of all things, 
with the blood of the sacrifice oh, shall you call me. Yes. And with the blood you shall nourish my roots. <laughs> thank you! Thank you, thank you! They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. You saved him! I wish I had! I love that lad! He's one of the best people I know! Yeah! He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a General's. Oh, that's a beauty! I love that boat. Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save Eddie, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already sent an... ...boat on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going. Still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look. rough. What do you care? How are you gonna get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. We 
they just didn't care. But at least he brought the cod liver oil. <gasps> at least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. just have to use my hand. Don't be ridiculous. We're a puppet theatre. How about if I use my sock? We can't do Ibsen with stock puppets. We need our dolly back. What happened to your dolly? Oh, that loony who lives in the treehouse. He managed to convince some idiot to steal it. We can't put on our show without a puppet. And it's a shame. We're really the only fun people can have around here. Unless you count taunting the bobbies. Maybe I can talk to him, and convince him to give your doll back. I doubt it. He thinks the doll is Peachy Carnan, one of his secret agents. Hmm. I can be... I bet in the morning you won't even remember what... Don't get away with this, Dr. Verloc. I've come to stop your evil scheme. Ha ha! You've fallen into my evil trap. What's going on? I can't move. Yes, Mr. Croker. It's my paralyzing ray. But wait. Here's Peachy Carnahan with his special operations executive hand mirror. He reflects your paralyzing ray back at you. No! What are you doing? Now I can't move. Can't you read? No girls allowed. Even if one of those girls is a secret agent? You're an agent of the Special Operations Executive. Prove it. I've been inside Dr. Veloc's lair. Shh! Don't say that out loud. I've met Sergeant Stubbs. And I know what his favourite code is. Do you? All right, all right. You are a secret agent. Central needs Peachy to go on a secret mission. It's a very... Mind if I look around? Ciao, darling. Side effects. Oh, but there's a big one. <laughs> oh, did you get our dolly? I did. And I don't think you'll have any more trouble with Johnny Bolton. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you want to stay for our show? We'll be able to start it in a few moments, thanks to you. When did my squirrel come home? Just now. Don't disturb me. Four, six, did you say? Four, six? My little spendthrift been wasting 
for you. Well, actually, it's perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry.